Can bunion pain come and go? Make sure you watch this video. I'm going to talk about bunion pain, why it comes and goes, what you can do about it, and how it relates to, to what you've got going on. So my name is Daniel Fitzpatrick from Sydney Foot Solutions. I own a podiatry clinic and we are expert in treating bunions. We see stacks and stacks of them. In fact, we see upwards of 100 bunions a week. We've worked in this area for over 20 years, treating bunions without the need for surgical intervention. So can bunion pain come and go? The answer is yes, it can. The reality is that your big toe joint in many respects takes more force than any other joint in your body. It's a big resilient joint and it takes lots and lots of force. In fact, there are certain studies that suggest that when you walk and run, you can put anywhere upwards of three times your body weight through your big toe. Is it any wonder why you get pain and discomfort through your potential bunion when you run and walk? So the reason that we see most commonly that people do start to get it is that you're getting a lot of force through your bunion and your big toe has started to deviate a bit like that. And as a result of that, it's causing you to deviate and you're getting an, an uneven force through your big toe when you stand and walk. So what's happening is you can't tend to come down and you internally rotate and your big toe is getting shifted across a bit like that. So the same reason that you get a bunion because the ground force is through your big toe are the same reasons you get the pain through your big toe as well. So the good news is there's lots you can do about it to intervene with surgery. And I will come back for that a little bit later on in the video. But for the short term, keep in mind that if you are getting pain coming and going, there may be an underlying uh, issue there. Keep in mind though, the longer you put off treatment for pain through a bunion, the more likely you are to get degenerative change through your big toe. What's nasty about degenerative change in big toes, you don't feel the first 90% of it. And so what people will come in and they'll say, oh, I've sort of had this niggling pain and it sort of comes on a couple of days and then it turns off. But the reality is that the longer you leave treatment, the worse the degenerative change will get. So keep in mind, if you're getting any pain at all through your bunion, there's probably something going on inside the joint. So I would, I would strongly advise you to seek professional advice. What I would say though, is that if you seek professional advice, it turns out to be nothing, well, no harm done. But the problem is the longer you put off any potential treatment, the more likely you are to need surgical intervention. And keep in mind, that surgical intervention is a pretty big deal. It's very costly, it's six to eight weeks off your feet. And not to mention that the full recovery time is anywhere from six to 12 months. So if you are getting any discomfort, I would strongly advise you to go and get a professional opinion. That's why we do our 60% off initial bunion assessment. If you're interested, click on the link below and you can go and claim that through our clinic. In fact, we do stacks of it and we know that in that assessment, we can give you very specific advice to your particular needs and help you with anything that might be relevant. Now, you might say, well, how do we avoid surgical intervention for something that is hurting you or for a bunion? We do stacks and stacks and stacks of this work. And the way we do it is that it's a gentle hands-on technique. We work on correcting the alignment of your bones, and then we give you exercises to support those changes. Over the last 20 years, we have found that that has been extremely successful in our clinics. In 90% of cases, we can avoid the need for surgical intervention. As a result, we can not only help with your pain, to a degree, we can help to improve the alignment of your big toe. You end up with a much more functional foot. And also what's very important is we can also help to fix the underlying cause of why you got the bunion in the first place. Why can we do this? Because the reality is, is that the reason you get a bunion in the first place is to do with the way you stand and the way you walk. It's not always to do with footwear. So the reality is that we can help to realign your foot and ankle so that you get a better long-term result with your bunion. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you click on the link below. I hope this video was helpful. We produce lots of content to try and improve your foot health and your general health. If you like our channel, please subscribe and click the like button just so that we know what, what we can produce further content to try and help you.